As Les Brown used to say, it is imperative you have a mentor because you can't see the picture when you're in the frame. Today, I had a call with my mentor during my lunch break, and he had said, Chris, in your content, you got to state more than negative because right now in my content, a lot of it's positive. I'm telling you guys, if you think about your dream, if you journal, if you read, if you write down your goals and you visualize and you work toward it every day, you're going to get the dream. And he said, but to be honest, there's a whole other side of the equation. If you think about like this, let's say down the street, this is his analogy. If you are down the street, you tell your buddy down that street, there's a lot of ice cream and cookies. And your buddy may or may not go get the ice cream and cookies. However, if you put a guy next to him with a giant knife and he's going to try and stab you, you better believe you will run as fast as you can. Suddenly, there's a lot of motivation. And so that's something that I think for a while I was consciously trying to avoid to do because I don't want to fear monger. And I think there is a difference between saying what is accurate and what will happen and fear mongering. I don't want to fall into fear mongering and this is new territory for me. And part of that is I, I want to adjust it in my own persona because I've also been watching other videos where they're saying, look, your friends who are always agreeing with you, those guys are actually assholes. The people who tell you where you're fucking up, the people who tell you where you're doing right, the people who tell you the truth as it is, those are your true friends. Those are the people you want in your circle. And if that means that's a person of value, that's who I want to become. I want to become more valuable to the people around me. So whether that means I state the negative a little bit more often, whether that means I have to be a little bit more honest with people, I think I have to work on my, I'm going to have to work on my delivery. This is new territory. But my philosophy prior to this was simply, that's your philosophy. I'm going to have my philosophy. And I think in fighting it works because if their philosophy sucks, they're going to lose matches. I will win matches. And even if I give them advice and they don't take it and they get kicked in the face, well, I tough, I gave you advice. And so with my friends outside though, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't even offer them advice. I'd just say, hmm, that's interesting. And I don't offer advice that often. And so personally, I think maybe the next few steps, the next level thing I have to do to help out and be more valuable to the people around me, to the people in my circle, is state things more honestly from a both a positive side. So if they're doing great things, let them know that they're doing a good job. And if I see them messing up, I th- this is, sounds weird to say out loud, but if they're messing up, I might have to start calling people out on it. Just, hey, you know, if you keep doing that, you're going to end up overweight. If you This is your fifth night you've had dessert in a row. Are you sure you want to have the dessert? This stuff's going to be new for me. And it's interesting because... I know inherently that I've heard from other philosophers, other people who are in kind of this personal development space, that your friends who tell you where you're messing up are your best friends. Those are the people you want around you because those people dislike the things that are keeping you down and like the things that are that are continuously building you up. So this is more of a just an announcement and a documentation that I'm going to be trying to level up my value to other people by calling out both the positive and the negative, not just celebrating the positive when people have it. If people are doing the negative, I mean, maybe people will dislike me a little bit more. That's all right. I'd rather have, I'd rather be valuable to the people who are on the path than around, I guess, or being okay or well-liked around people who don't want to move forward. So that doesn't mean I'm cutting anyone out. That's just my my interpretation and my tentative game plan moving forward here on out with other relationships. So if you guys see me outside, I'm still probably going to be the same guy. But if I hear anything that's I don't think is good, I'll just let you know, hey, man, you probably should work out if you haven't worked out in five days. Hey, you probably shouldn't eat 30 pieces of ice cream tonight. Just stuff like that. Anyway, two points. One, make sure that you're circled by good people, people who want the best for you. And number two, find a mentor because that's something that if a third party had never told me, it's something I may not have ever come around to do or ever ever come around to adjust. So you need people outside of the frame to give you perspective on how to improve your own picture. 
that's my message for tonight, guys. This has been day 85. If you find this valuable, please like and subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow, at least for the next two weeks. See y'all tomorrow.